ladies and gentlemen, Miss Morgan Wade. How's it going? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing good. It's a little bit chilly here in uh, Kentucky. We're right on the Kentucky, Virginia state line and you're from Virginia, right? Yeah. 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 So where, where are you at exactly right now? I'm in a little place called Pikeville, Kentucky. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm really, yeah, I don't, I don't live too incredibly far from there. It's getting a little bit chilly here in the mountains. Right. Right. I, I get to wear my cool jackets this time of year. So there you go. that's, that's you the go. silver lining. <laughs> But uh, speaking about uh, times getting a little bit chilly, I'm really digging the Christmas music that you released yeah. today. M my, my favorite of the two is I'll Be Home for Christmas. I, I yeah. love that cover that you did. So what what's going on with that? Are you working on a Christmas album or are you just releasing some Christmas singles? Nah, just just some Christmas songs. It was, you know, it's just something I'd never done before. And so uh, it, it was kind of fun to go in there and do that. It was challenging. I'll Be Home for Christmas is a tough song to sing. So uh, I was I was glad it, it turned out great, though. I'm really excited for it. Yeah, it, it really was awesome. A little bit early in the year, I will say. Just, <laughs> the, just a little bit, just a little bit. But you know what? This is a good reminder for everybody to get their Christmas shopping started because I need to I'm, I'm going to go ahead and start because I'll, I'll forget if I don't start now. I say that. And then it's always last minute. I'm, it's, in I'm gonna, like a few Christmas days. Eve. Yeah, it's like a few days before I'm like, oh, man, I got to try to find something. And yeah, but see, you, we could be better this year because of me releasing Christmas songs. Exactly. Exactly. I, I was expecting to see the blue hair, though. That's what, what I was kind of expecting today. I yeah. did. It, though. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. It, uh, the blue hair was fun. It's a very underrated Christmas color. I know that everybody goes with like green and red, but the blue and white, that's underrated, I think. See? Thank you. Thank you. I was looking ahead. Nice. But, uh, you know, speaking about music, I've been listening to your new album, Reckless, for the last several weeks here. And, you know, I, I, I dance to it. I cry to it. It really is just a beautiful album. But the, the first thing that I noticed whenever I listened to it from front to back, it's almost like it's telling a story, just the, how the songs flow through the album. Yeah. They are placed together perfectly did you like put a lot of thought into the composition of the album no um we knew that i wanted wilder days to be the first track on there uh wilder days is the first song that you know sadler baden my producer and i uh wrote together so we wanted that to be the first first track on there and then met you is actually the last song i wrote um that was added to the record so it just actually really just worked out like that and um i've got to give all the credit to sadler for picking out the sequencing of that record and he did such a great job because it, it does it tells tells such a great story yeah met, how it ends with met you that's my favorite song on the album oh, right on right on but, but how it ends where it's just it's like that ghostly feel there at the end yeah it's it's echo done. like yeah it, it like it took my breath away the first time i listened to him like oh my god and I just yeah. clicked play again. I, I just started all back over. Right Why did you want to put Wilder Days first, though? I don't know. You know, I felt like it was the song that really, you know, it, it it was a good like. Here you go. This is what you're about to hear. This is this is kind of where it started, and it, and it was the first song we wrote on that record, and we worked on that song the longest to get it to the point that we felt it should be at, and. We were really proud of that one. I was like, I, I, I want to start out, you know, on a, on a real, real kicking song for it. Yeah. And, and that's what we did. I, it worked. What really yeah. drew me into the album, like the first time I just, I seen the record as a whole was of course, all the tattoos and yeah. stuff. I'm like, this chick looks pretty cool. And, and then I listened to the album and I was just, I was absolutely blew away, but I'm a fan of tattoos myself. I've got quite a few. How many do you have? Or just have you lost count at this point? Looks yeah, like I, I, it's, it's funny. Uh, I tried to count. It's like 136. Wow. something like that but it i kind of just stopped counting because it's like yeah um and i'm i'm actually going to get one uh later today we're we're playing a show in ohio and i got a guy coming by the the hotel there to give us all some new tattoos so that's cool <laughs> what are you going to get it is um it's a croc and it and it looks like an alligator and it says croc and roll 
<laughs> nice. Uh, like, are, are you a fan of the Crocs? Shoes? I am a big fan of Crocs. I don't care what anybody says. I love me some Crocs. They are easy. They are convenient. Yep. Hey, if you ain't crocking, you ain't rocking. Exactly. See, you get it. You get it. See, I, I was one of those kind of haters at first. I'm like, mm -hmm. if you get a sunburn on those with those things, it's going to look <laughs> like you have polka dot feet. But I, I think the people that hate on Crocs haven't actually tried a pair. They on. haven't experienced what, yeah. what Crocs can really bring to the table. Yeah, whenever I slid my feet in them the first time, I'm like, I get it. Like, like yeah. it just it, it all made sense. Yeah, and the yeah. and the little uh. I don't know what you call them, the little things that you put that in the holes you can on the put, shoe. Right, yeah. It's pretty cool. Pretty yeah, cool I, shoe. I think, I think we need some Morgan Wade Crocs. I think I need to work on that. That would be cool. If you were to make Morgan Wade Crocs, what would they look like? I'm definitely going to say they'd be like Tiffany Blue, like the uh, limited edition vinyl that we had put out that we hadn't – that that was a big hit. I'm, I'm obsessed with that color anyways, so, yeah. you know. So is you need you some Tiffany blue Crocs. One day I might get those. Is, is blue your favorite color? I, I'd say so. Yeah. That and black, apparently. It's just easy. Black just goes with everything. My, my wife gets on to me all the time because I wear black too much, apparently. But it's just easy. Yeah. It, it makes yeah, an outfit it, easy. Exactly. But yeah, I've been a, a really big fan of this album from front to back. One thing that I just... One thing that captured me about it was it's so moving. I think that everybody has at least one song on that album that they can relate to. You were so open on this yeah. album. Were, were you ever hesitant about being so personal with your music? Yeah. I mean, uh, there there were times, I mean, it's it's very personal stuff on there and so putting that out into the world where others are going to critique it or or hear it and judge it or or love it you know it's it's a big deal you know um a lot of people they they journal and they write stuff down but they don't share it with the world and so yeah. i i chose to share it with the world so it was a little it was a little nerve-wracking I, I was very nervous um, to put this record out, you know, I wasn't sure what, what people were going to think about it, but it's, it's been great. I mean, the response has been amazing. Yeah. I, I think that it's important for an artist to, uh, stay true. I, I guess it's good to have the hits and stuff like that, but you know, that, that's what got me into music whenever I was a kid, I, I, I could just hear stuff that I could relate to and it was yeah. meaningful. It was touching. That's and that's good. one thing that I think that, uh, we often lose in today's music industry. So to see sure. an artist like you come by and just keep it real, it's much appreciated. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So where did your musical journey start for you? Yeah, I, uh, I mean, as long as I can remember, I was writing songs. Um, you know, I wasn't like playing that for other people. Uh, but when I turned 19, I went through a breakup and I decided to form a band on Craigslist and try to get the guy back. And that is literally where it all started playing live music. Craigslist. Craigslist. I don't recommend it for anybody. Yeah. Fortunately, this is not a true crime podcast that we're on right <laughs> now. And you're not talking to my mother. You were actually speaking to me. It could have went really bad and I look back and I'm just like man the stupid things we do but it worked out and here yeah. I am and it's exactly. it's great but yeah it, it was it was literally basically I like to say heartbreak you know which is the root of most music so and congratulations on your deal with Sony by the Thank way you. that that was yeah. awesome I, I've been following you here for a little while and whenever I sing that news I'm like yes that's awesome H how did the record deal with Sony come about um, you know, I, it was like we put Reckless out and I was on the independent label 30 Tigers and then Reckless came about and other major labels started to kind of reach out and, and, and wanted to talk and, and Sony happened to be one of those and um, I made them work for it like <laughs> really hard. <laughs> so I was like, you know, or, what do you what do you guys want? I mean, are you, are you wanting to change stuff and they didn't want to change anything. Nice. I mean, they came at me and they're like, we, we love what you're doing. And they are able to help me get that record out there to so many more people. And so it's just been a great experience. 
Yeah, I'll admit that was one thing that I was a little bit worried about whenever I seen you sign with a major label. I'm like, I hope she doesn't lose the sound or anything like that. Yeah. So so it's cool that they were willing to say, like, what do you want instead of what oh, yeah. do what we want? It's that, you know, and it was uh, it's they not once they were like, why would we want to change this? We love this. And so they really believe in me. They believe in the record and the team. And, and so. You know, they, they're just like, we want you to keep doing what you're doing because this is amazing. So it's been great. I seen a picture of your uh, dog on the internet yes. the other day, and I seen it was named Sony. Is there like any connection there? Uh, they bought me. Yeah, they bought me the dog. I was like, uh, so, so is that how they worked for it? How you were saying earlier? Oh, yeah. I was like, buy me a dog and I'll, I'll name him Sony. If, if you buy me a dog, I'll name him Sony. And so they got me the little Frenchie that I wanted and and um he lives a better life than I'll ever live and he's way cooler than I'll ever be he's perfect it's a very cool dog and and I love French bulldogs by the way it's underrated dog cute little thing oh man they're they're very uh dependent dogs and and uh they they're clowns essentially they're little clowns they're amazing yeah very energetic but Mm -hmm. love those breeds yes and how I found out about you essentially was uh, <clears throat> I was listening to Jason Isbell one day and, oh, you nice. po- and you popped up on the recommendations there on the side. And I just love to go down rabbit holes of different artists that I don't know about. And I started listening to him like, oh, my God, I, I-, I like Jason, but I've been listening to Reckless a little bit more here. <laughs> like, you got, got to admit that out there, Jason. But <clears throat> whenever I seen that you and Jason were going to be playing here in Pikeville, I lost my freak. Oh, right mind. on. Yeah. So how did that partnership and tour with Jason start? Uh, you know, I mean, honestly, obviously, you know, Sadler produced the record. And so, uh, you know, we just kind of like connected through that and, and we're on the same uh, booking agency. And so uh, I booked a show with him a month or so ago, something like that. My memory's kind of foggy, but, um, you know, he's super great guy and we, we meshed well. And so I'm jumping on a few more shows with him this year. I'm super pumped. Yeah, it, it, it is awesome. And I love how, you know, whether people call it country or Americana, whatever you want to call it. I just love right. that the, the real music is yeah. coming back into that genre. Cause for, for years sure. now, it's just been about, the hits you know and, and nowadays whenever i'm listening to an artist like you or jason or culture wall i mean the, the list goes on it's you don't find many artists whenever you're listening to them that's what you have to do you have to sit down and listen yeah right so yeah, sure. it, it, yeah it's it's much appreciated so yeah. what's next for morgan wade <sighs> touring touring that's 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 the big thing for the the rest of the year and and, and next year too, is just get out there promoting this record and hopefully working on some new stuff and just touring. I mean, we had a year off, so yeah, got to get back at it. Well, Morgan, thank you for your time today. Yeah, and man, thank, thank you, you for all the great music as well. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you. Thanks for listening. I guess I'll be seeing you in December. Yep. See you then.